Hey up everybody. Um, in a previous video, uh, I did a little video for really beginners in machining on how to do, how to approach, well, how I approach batch work on uh, on my machines. It was just a little insight for beginners, really. And in that video, I made all these spoke nipples. I made uh, a batch of forty. So uh, what I'm doing in this video then, this next part of my e-bike project that I'm making a, a standard bike into an electric bike. So in this video then I'm just making some spokes up to spoke that hub in, that second hand hub, into my wheel. So uh, without further ado then I'll just show, go over to workbench and uh, I'll just show you my method of making spokes. Um, a couple of methods I've got really so I'll, I'll see you over at workbench right just briefly then what I'm doing uh, because I can't find any spokes the exact length of what I want off the shelf I'd have to have them specially made uh, and I'm not going to that expense so the, the method I'm using I've got some welding rods stainless steel welding rods um, the actual diameter is bigger than I actually need because I'm going bigger than I need in diameter, I've put my thread on with the die. I know I know they're not normally done with the die, they're normally rolled on so you don't lose any effective diameter. But because I've gone bigger, my effective diameter is still the size that I wanted to be at if, if I haven't if I hadn't gone that route. Um right. So yeah, I'm using stainless steel welding rods, two and a half millimeter. If you if you want to do do this route that I'm taking and you, you've got no facilities for putting threads on, what you could do, if you can't find the size of spoke you need, you can buy a longer set of spokes. Uh, I think this set at present time from China delivered to your door is something like twelve or fifteen pounds, something like that. So you buy a longer set. Then you utilise the nipple and the thread end, you leave that alone, cut the J-bend off to the length that you want and put an S-bend on like I've done here. Here's me at wire gauge chart. Um, the, um, the ones I normally use on me on my e-bike conversions are 13 gauge. The ones that you normally get in normal cycle wheels is 14 gauge so 14 gauge is 80 thousandths diameter 13 gauge is 92 thousandths diameter and then 12 gauge is 104 thousandths diameter right so because my welding rods that I've threaded are two and a half mil so you can see from here they're nearly they actually nearly 12 gauge on the diameter so uh, I'm plugging for these stainless steel welding rods and I'm going to make my own bends. Now, like I explained earlier, if you haven't got facilities to do any threading, just buy a longer spoke than you need, leave the thread on and then cut them to length and put the bend on. Uh, so you could go down that route and buy longer spokes. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm doing then to bend them. Um, I've got a couple of jigs that I use. Uh, They've both got pros and cons, so you'll see as I'm as I'm making them, uh, make your own mind up. Right, briefly then, my first jig, all it consists of, I've got it on a wooden board, just basically so I can measure the lengths off. Um, I've got three pins, one's detachable, and then I've got a little clamp at this side that clamps the spoke for, for one of the operations. So first operation then, I've got to get it to my length. So from the pin, I measured the, the spoke length and I've added one millimetre on, um, just to allow for the bend. You, lo you lose a little bit on the bend. So I just to allow one millimetre, uh, put the spoke in, and then this pin just go goes in that, uh, that hole there. And that's going to make me first bend then. I'm not using that clamp. That's not clamping, that's just 
stopping the spoke from moving that way. And then once I've got my length, my length I'm just going to bend it. Just use any bit of stock material just to help you get that bend tight onto that pin. Till it's parallel with, with jig. So that's number one bend. Then I'm going to take that movable pin out. Put this clamp on, screw it down onto the spoke, just clamp that up and then I'm going to bend it round this pin, this next pin here. Just till it's more or less parallel and basically that's it. Just got to cut it to length now. And what I use is a pair of pliers or any pair of shears that would do it. I just allow probably about 5mm front bend. And then that just wants uh, just a, a trim look file. Just to check the bird off and that's it. I ain't got no thread on this one because this is just a practice spoke, just for, just to show you. That's it. So that's me fixture number one, or me jig number one. Me jig number two is basically it's a t piece of T section. It don't have to be T section. It could just be angle. So ignore them all as they were for from a previous life. You drill a hole in one of the legs the same diameter as the spoke and each side of that hole you just put a little countersink with a centre drill so you've just got a little bit of the diameter of the, of the spoke in the centre and that's just that's just to ena enable you to won't be able to get the bend out uh, and basically all I'm going to do into vice I've got this clamp here that I've made and all it is is a piece of round stock I've put that um, I've I've brazed that piece on there. That that goes up to that. It's just to stop it, you know, twisting. Once I'm once I've got it, got the spoke in, and all it is is a piece of round stock with a hole the same diameter as the spoke. And then once I've got my length set, I just clamp it up into this, just to secure it. And what that does, it stops as you're bending it. It stops the spoke. Uh, pulling back through the hole and altering your length. So that's all that does. And clamp the spoke. That clamp clamps onto the spoke so that can't move in or out now. And basically all, all you do is just bend it round that way first. And once you get to there it's going to spring back a bit. It's not like the other jig, you've got room to go further than you want and then it springs back. So you just tap it with a mallet until you've got a right angle bend. Then all I'm going to do is remove that clamp and then bend it the other way. I could knock that with the mallet now, just to like I've done with that one. But an alternative way is to just take it out of the vise, put it into the vise there, while it's still in the hole, and just tighten the vise up. And that leaves you with that. And then you can thread it out of the hole. And again, just cut it to length, 
take the burr off and that's it that's all that's all there is to it That's it for this little video then, uh, it's only my way of doing it, it's not, not the only way and uh, I suppose there's other methods of doing it, it's just my way of doing it. So uh, if you found that useful and informative give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and uh, I'll catch you on the next video, on the next part of my e-bike project once I've got this wheel trued up probably. Um, so I'm going to sign off for now then, thanks for watching, bye for now.